What's going on guys, it's Jonathan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what might be the best hidden secret menu on the Galaxy Note 9 or just Galaxy devices, period. Now with this menu, you're gonna be able to make sure that your phone is functioning properly, that nothing is out of whack and everything is calibrated correctly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into what might be the best hidden secret menu on any Galaxy device, but most importantly, the Note 9. So what you're going to want to do is go into your phone app, go into your dialer and dial star pound zero star pound and then boom there's the 007 hidden secret menu on the Note 9 and also like I said this will work for any Samsung device. What's cool about this is you can run through these multiple choices here and it will actually make sure your phone is completely calibrated and running like it should. So you can see you have red, green and blue. These are your RGB colors if you tap on them. You can see it gives you a screen full of red so you can make sure you don't have any dead pixels. If you go onto the green, same thing, and then of course the blue. So if you bounce back, you also have an option for receiver and it's going to do exactly what it says. So it's going to test the receiver functionality of your phone. So we'll bounce back here. You have vibration. So it's going to test the haptic engine inside your phone. You can see it's functioning perfectly. We'll bounce back to Megacam. Megacam is going to test the HDR and auto feature of your rear facing camera. So tap on it. And if my phone was lifted, it would actually be projecting an image of whatever the camera is facing. So we'll go ahead and bounce back. Next up, we have the sensor. So we'll go ahead and tap on sensor and it's going to give you a list of the different sensors in your phone. So you have your accelerometer, your proximity sensor, barometer, light sensor, your gyroscope, magnetic sensor, all the way down to your fingerprint sensor. So you can test all of these to make sure they are running exactly like they should. It's pretty cool. Bounce back. And we have the touch functionality. So if you go into this, it's going to give you the opportunity to make sure that your capacitive touch screen is running exactly like it should, as you can see. The only issue with this test is, unless there's something that I'm missing, is that you have to reset your phone in order to get back to the menu. So as you can see, I can't get back to the main menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset my phone now and I will be right back. Okay, so now that my phone has reset, we'll continue on with the testing. We have the speaker test here, which plays out of the top and bottom first. Tap it again and it's just the bottom. Tap it again and it's just the top. One more time, turns it off. Then we have the sub key test, which is the deep press of the home button. So you can see the screen turns blue. You can hear the haptic engine. And we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Then we have the front camera test. You can see everything is working A-OK -okay here. Go ahead and go back. Then we have the grip sensor test, which is basically the edge rejection. That way you don't accidentally press anything due to the curved edges here. And if you, you know, grip the phone, you can see that it does work. It's because the phone's laying on a table, so it's a little bit hard for me to, there you go. So as you can see, everything is working and functioning perfectly. Go ahead and go back. And then we have the LED test, which is gonna test out the notification LED. So you have red, green, and blue, and then finally end. So then we have the barcode emulator test, which gives you a series of barcodes and it's just going to test out the functionality of the barcode reading inside your device. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Then we have the black screen test, which is basically testing out the AMOLED display to make sure it is functioning properly. Go ahead and back out of that. Then we have the Hall IC test. Then we have the S Pen test. So you can draw the S Pen out and then write on the screen. It also tests out the hover feature of the S Pen. Pretty cool. Go ahead and back out of that. Then we have the MST test, which if you didn't know, MST is the technology that Samsung uses for Samsung Pay in order for Samsung Pay to work with older credit card readers. So that's pretty cool that you can test that out. Go ahead and back up. Then we have the MLC test, which again goes along the same lines of uh, MST. It's still used for payment. So we'll back out of that. Then we have the iris camera test, which is testing out the security feature along the front here for the iris scanner. And then finally, we have Loopback, which is testing out the microphones found all over the Note 9. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see in terms of Note 9 content. I do have the device and I plan on doing several videos, but I want to know what you want to see. That way I can, you know, put out videos that you guys want to watch. 
If you guys want to ask a question, hit me up on social as I do respond faster there, but you can leave it down below in a comment and I'll try to get to it when I can. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.